Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads, allocate the centroid for the wire, neglect the thickness of the material and uh, the slight bends at the corners. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. Right, so we are being asked to find the centroid. Before we start, let's just define what centroids are. So a centroid is just basically the geometric it's a geometric center, right? So this is a geometric center of a line. Like in this case, it can be a geometric center of uh, an area. It can also be a geometric center of uh, a volume. So we have what is called centroid of a line. We have also what is called centroid of an area. We also have what is called centroid of a volume. Okay, and then when the material, when the body, all right, is homogeneous, homogeneous, this simply means uh, all points, all points throughout the body of the material are the same. Uh, all points are the same. Are the same. So the material properties, material properties, okay, at all points throughout the body are the same. And if this is the case, then you expect centroid. Uh, and these material properties would include density, you know, elastic, uh, uh, modulus, poisson ratio, and so on. And if this is the case, then you expect centroid to coincide with the center of mass it also it also coincide with the center of gravity that is if the body is within a medium of uniform gravitational field right great all right, so this is about it, about centroids. Let's move to the problem. So what we need to do is uh, to divide these parts, these wires into parts. Let's call this part here from there to there as our number one. And then this one here from there to there as our number two. And then this one here is our number three. And then this one here is our number four. The rest, these are the same. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. Okay, these are the same, they are in pairs. Okay, and then uh, the length of number two, if you look at the length of number two, uh, the length of number two, this side, this is number two. Uh, this side it has um, a height of uh, three three inches, and then this side it has the height the length of um, this part here. This part here is two, so two minus ten eight eight divided by two four. So this part is four. Therefore, the length of this is you know Pythagoras theory, right? Remember, 3 squared plus 3 squared root of that gives us 5, right? So the length of this line, the length of this line is 5, right? Great. And is centroid opposition in the y-axis, therefore, uh, is going to be half, right? It's going to be half of uh, in this direction, right? This is 1.5. This is 1.5. This is the only thing I wanted to talk about. Okay. Okay, so now let's find... Uh, we've defined what 2 is. Let's define the centroid position for 1. And if you see 1, it T coincides with the centroid position for 2. They go in the same line, right? 
Okay, there we go. So we are finding these local, if you would want to call them local centroidal for the individual pieces. So this is equal to, I mean y, we are in the y direction. So this is y killed 1, we are saying is equal to y killed 2, which is equal to uh, 8, which is this length here, plus uh, this centroid position, the length of 1, the length of 1 is 3 and half of 3 is 1.5 and so is the centroidal position of uh, part 2 remember this one here we said is 1.5 right so these are the same right they coincide so this is equal to 9.5 inches then let's go to 2 I mean to 3 centroidal position for 3 this one there uh, so this one there it is y killed 3 is equal to half of 8 is 4 4 inches okay and then the centroid position for number 4 number 4 just passes through our reference which is our x uh, and it means y will not will just be equal to 0 so it is just there okay which is uh, y killed 4 is equal to 0 okay so this is about it let's mind that we have two ones two twos and two threes so we need to multiply by 2 so let's draw a table. Uh, we draw a table so that we fit everything in there. We draw a table. So the first row will be for parts. The second row, I mean the second column, it will be for local centroidals. And then uh, this one will be for the lengths. And then this one will be for the product of length times uh, times the centroidal. So let's call this part. Uh, parts. Then let's call this one as in centroidal uh, y bars. Like so. And they are in what? They are in inches. And then this one we call it length. L, L, they are also in inches. Then this one we call it CALD, L, product. Uh, this one they are in inches squared. Okay, so how many parts do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then finally, this one. Great. It's about it. So we have one, two, three, four, and summation. Great. So, what do we have for this? Uh, we have uh, part one is. Um, uh, what is local centroid for one? For one, the local centroid we said is uh, nine point five. For two, it is also nine point five. For three, we said is four, and then for na part number four, we said is zero. The length for the first one we said is five. I mean, the, for the first one is three. And there are two, so we'll say two times two times three. Okay. The length for part number two, there are also two parts of this. There is this one and this one. So we'll say two times the length is five. Remember this length here it is five. Okay. And then for number three, there are also two, the length. So the, the length is eight, so it will be two times eight. 
Then the length for the fourth one, we just took the whole lot of it alone, the way it is, and is equal to 10. So let's get the products. So we have 9.5 times 2 times 3, right? 9.5 times 2 times 3, what do we get? We get a 57. And so is here is a 57. And then we have 4 times 2 times 8. Um, this is a 64. And then 0 by 10 is just a 0. So let's add up the length and we add up the product of centroids times uh, the length. So what is the length? 2 by 3 plus 2 by 5 plus 2 by 8. Uh, plus 10 42 that's the total length so the product of a centroid or local centroid or position or location time the length so 57 plus 57 plus 64 is 178 let me check the length again 6 plus 10 plus 16 plus 10 42 and uh, 64 plus 57 plus 57, 178. Great. So we have the formula. The formula for this is y bar is equal to summation from n, where n is equal to 1, comma 2, uh, dash, dash, up to the fourth part, right, of y cared times L divided by the summation from n where n is equal to 1 up to 4 of L okay and this was equal to 178 divided by 42 therefore our y count is giving us our 178 divided by 42 this gives us a 4.24, right? A 4.24 inches. Great. So, this is the final solution. And let's show it here. So, we are measuring it from the bottom here. I'll show it in blue. From there, so from the bottom. This is 4.2, so it's going up above this point somewhere here. Imagine this is the point somewhere here. So this is the point. This is our y bar, which is equal to 4.24 inches. Okay. So that is, uh, uh, we should not forget to say the y position, I mean the x position is equal to 0. x bar is equal to 0, is equal to 0 inch, okay? It is equal to 0 inch. We shouldn't forget that. It is equal to 0 inch. Great. This is about it, and I hope the video is helpful. And if it was, uh, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing, and uh, uh, sharing my channel. Bye-bye, and I'll uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.